All right, here with Danielle Kang. Danielle, a bogey-free round out there for you at Sadakoi. Just take me through what was working well today for you. My ball striking worked really well today. I was getting very frustrated on the greens. Um, so was my playing partner, Hedging. And, I mean, we were, making, we were making nothing out there. And I think the greens are just so slow. <laughs> and I think they need to cut them. I think it's enough of just letting them grow out. I think members are pretty upset. Members are coming up to me for the last four days infuriated that the greens are playing this slow and we both couldn't get it to the hole so eventually we started playing money game and we started smashing putts that's how we started making birdies in the back three holes for uh the, this is uh two days in a row your last couple of holes you've really been able to put up some great birdie looks just what is what is it about those last couple of holes that you like the most 16 and 17 honestly particular. i'm getting to a point where i just don't give a shit at that point because I just missed every single putt high. I missed every single putt coming in. And at one point, you just get to a point where you have to hit it as hard as you can. And that's what I did. And ended up making a couple putts, which was good. And I love that hedging through a fist pump on the last hole because that was to take money from me. So um, I mean, we had to somehow play our own game. And I really enjoyed playing with her today because at the end of the day, I know it's a tournament. But it's fun to have a partner that you can banter with. and you know, egg each other on to play better. So that's what happened. Have you played with her before? A long time ago. But she's a player that I don't get paired very often. Um, there are some draws that you get paired. And yeah, but I really enjoyed playing with her today. Any surprise, you and Andrea, two SoCal gals, are up near the top of the leaderboard at a, at a Southern California golf course? Um, yeah, I guess Andrea has been playing really well. I'm really impressed by her game. And... Um, I mean, she's a recent champ. I think she's on a good momentum, good mojo, like feeling good about her game. And that's how kind of golfers work, right? When you're playing good, you just kind of ride that wave. And we kind of freak out when we lose the wave as well. So that's kind of the journey of a golfer. You, I followed you for the front nine. You could have been six under through six, the way you were hitting the ball. How frustrating was it to, to not see some of those putts drop? Because I know, you know. You can yeah, I have a rule where I don't talk. I don't even know where that came from. I have a rule where I say I don't tell myself I should have, could have, would have. That's the worst thing you could have done. Um, I three putted five times yesterday, so I could have been five shots less, right? And they were not three puttable putts. So I was 20 feet three putting. Um, I mean, it is what it is, right? Um, I finished birdie, birdie, birdie last three holes yesterday. I finished five under in the last three holes last two days, so I could have been less as well. Um, I'm meant to be where I'm meant to be right now, and hopefully I get some speed and dialed in, and I hope, I'm really hoping my putter gets hot because I feel really good, so my ball striking's great, and I'm flagging a lot of shots. Um, I know I'm gonna get a call from Butch later and saying, why is your score so high? <laughs> Looking at the stats, but he's gonna have to understand that, you know, hey, it's Sadaquay Country Club, nothing breaks less than a cup. Just give me a little bit of break, and hopefully tomorrow um, my putter gets hot like it normally does sometimes, and just give it a really good run. Do you expect them to speed the greens up at all, or do you anticipate It doesn't matter to me. I mean, I'm kind of in a mindset where always on the last day, I've got nothing to lose. I've played out here long enough where I'm not looking for seconds or top fives or top tens, so it doesn't matter if I three-put. I'm probably just going to smash putts all day tomorrow. <laughs> I was just going to say one more for me, but just... We were talking yesterday how much you want to play well here on the Golf Channel about how much you want to play well, Satakoy. Yeah. What's the mindset as you head into the final day of competition? I had so many friends come out today. Um, they were here in the front nine and the back nine. They were, they're getting ready for the barbecue. Yeah, we're having a barbecue today. But I just, I wanted to, I got all emotional because these are the kids that I grew up with. I've known them since I was 12, 13. My best friend's out here. One of my friends has a baby now who I never thought would have a baby. And all of a sudden, you know, Glenn's here, Eli's here, Hillary's here, Nicole's here. It's just like, I love seeing that. My college golf coach was out here. My high school golf coach was out here. It's just, it's fun. And I just hope that it's been kind of on my bucket list to come back home. And Zadokoy is as close as I've gotten so far. Um, Everyone thought Wilshire was close, but it wasn't, right? So my next goal is Sherwood, I guess. But <laughs> I'm hoping that somehow I make a really good entertaining round tomorrow and give it a good run for the Southern California people and see what happens. 
All right. Thank you, Danielle. Cool. Thank you.